You know, in the past, we've introduced you to many new trends and fads, and, well, we were the first to feature the phenomenon of break dancing, BMX bicycle racing, Pac-Man contests, the Rubik's Cube World Championship, and, of course, the unforgettable domino exhibition. And now for a new trend. Mazes. They've been with us since the time of ancient Greece. In modern-day Japan, however, they've become the latest craze in mass entertainment. Millions have been trying to find their way out of these three-dimensional puzzles since the first one opened in 1984. Well, mazes have now arrived in America. A gigantic maze theme park opened last summer in Vacaville, California. Three mazes offer escalating levels of competition for children of all ages. Spokesman Larry Friday explains. We're all looking for a different way to spend a day, and the maze offers a, uh, a challenge. I think the American people are into beating their own time, bettering their record, and so on, and that just provides that opportunity. Easy. It is. Fabulous. Pretty much. I'm lost. He's more lost than I am. The way you wouldn't think of making it is the way it actually is. So if that made any sense, it makes about as much sense as this place did. What made sense to us was a race against the clock by three people determined to master the maze in record time. They weren't your average everyday maze walkers. They were specially selected competitors. Challenge number one, Steve Wozniak. Now Steve, who's known as Woz, is a computer whiz. His IQ is probably higher than his weight. But how will he perform when the chips are down? Challenger number two, Ann Meyer. She's a four-time All-American basketball player, an Olympic silver medalist, and the only woman ever drafted by the NBA. She's sure to be a tough competitor. And challenger number three, Jeremy Hopkins. He's young, he's determined, and he's full of enthusiasm, but can he overcome the brilliant strategy of his adult adversaries? Well, first of all, it's to think out some things that wouldn't be logical, kind of like in computer sense, because psychology of psychology on the one hand, computers on the other. Computers play chess, they play other games, but really sometimes you have to outthink your opponent, think how would they be thinking in their head. I think the biggest thing strategy-wise is to keep my cool and not get frustrated when I make a mistake and, and try to recover as quick as I can and being an athlete and go as fast and, and, and use my quickness and uh, recover from there. I'm going to just go out there and have fun and try my hardest. None of the three has ever run a maze race. Now, in this race, the course consists of a quarter mile of winding pathways, but the most direct route through it is probably only a tiny fraction of that. Our competitors will face numerous kinds of obstacles because the maze is riddled with blind alleys and dead ends like this one. And there are also passageways that take you outside when you should be in. And there's a bridge from which our challengers can try to regain their bearings. Each of the competitors will be running through the maze individually and against time. They drew straws to see who would go first. Steve won it on us, Jeremy. Well, it looks yeah. like I am first. Okay. okay. Here we go. One, two, three, let's, let's go. go! And this is your incredible sportscaster, Roy Firestone, with a play-by-play. -play. As you can see, Wozniak's off and running, followed by Annie Myers. Then by Jeremy Hopkins. Wozniak appears confused right from the start. Now Ann hits a dead end and makes an abrupt U-turn. Jeremy's enthusiasm, if not his energy, remains high. Ann is now forced to run up the bridge in order to regain her bearings. Woz and Jeremy are making fast progress. Still anybody's race, however. Wozniak trailed by our cameraman, and a maze official seems to be taking the lead. But Ann and Jeremy not far behind, on the clock. Woz making great progress. Looks like he's on his way to victory. Oh no, six feet from the finish, and he turns back into the maze. He goes up the bridge, trying to figure out just where he's at. Now Annie has an excellent chance to win. Wozniak continues to be lost. Jeremy's speeding into the middle of nowhere. Oh, wrong one. Anne's near the finish line, making all the right moves. A couple more turns, and she'll be there. And on her way to a victory, perhaps. One more turn, and here she comes. Yes, she's done it. Her time, 1 minute 24 seconds. I just went out so bored and, and 
just went where the maze took me and I got lucky. Now luck is what Jeremy needs right now. He's back where he started. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wozniak tries to think things out, and the more he thinks, the more desperate he becomes. Jeremy's heading towards the center right now, back on track to the key turning point. Thanks, Steve. Now, Steve has just realized his crucial mistake. He was at the finish line two minutes ago. Back to the exit. Jeremy's really jamming now. Look at this. And he has done it. His time, 2 minutes, 45 seconds. Wozniak, meanwhile, wavering again, makes some on-the-spot computations, and he looks lost as the minutes keep piling up. Seven minutes have elapsed, and Steve is still trapped. But thankfully, it looks like the end is finally near. And now, finally, Steve Wozniak is through in just eight minutes and 42 seconds. And to the incredible maze race winner, Ann Myers, goes an incredible trophy for her efforts. This is your amazing maze race announcer, Roy Firestone, saying so long for now.